In this class, we are going to learn what is BI Publisher Report and Data Model in Oracle Fusion Cloud Applications. In our earlier classes, we had seen how we can navigate to get the REST APIs for Oracle Fusion Cloud. For demonstration purpose, we had considered the use case of getting all the projects available in Oracle Fusion Cloud using this Get All Projects API. Now suppose you might get into a situation while implementing a business use case wherein you won't find a REST API for a specific scenario. Like suppose you want to get the customer as part of the sales implementation that is getting the list of all the customers available in your Oracle Fusion Cloud applications and show to the users with the help of some application what you are going to develop. In such case, if you are unable to find this is one of the example we are considering, there is obviously a REST API to get all the customers from Oracle Fusion Cloud. For demonstration purpose, we are considering that let us assume that there is no API to extract the customer data. Then what you have to do is, we have to go to the root of the cloud application by clicking on this or you can directly go to docs.oracle.com slash en slash cloud slash sas slash index.html. I will scroll down and look for the sales and here we can click on the sales automation or any of the use case what is available over here. Then the thing is same, we have to click on the APIs and schema and we can click on these tables for sales and fusion service. Now here if I just scroll down towards the customer data model and the tables, here I am seeing one table that is HZ accounts int. So this will be returning as the customer data, party number, party ID, so and so forth things. So like this we have to navigate to a specific module in the Oracle Fusion and look for the table what we are interested in that is for getting the accounts, account rollups, addresses, usages, citizenship certifications and so forth things. Based on what module you are working in you have to get the appropriate table name. Now let's see how we can create a data model and extract the data from this particular table from the fusion. So in order to create a BI publisher report we have to click on the navigation menu, click on this, scroll down and click on the tools over here. Here you will see the option called as reports and analytics, click on this. Click on the browse catalog. So this is one of the way how you can navigate to the catalog for VI publisher. Other method is just copy the host, that is your fusion host name which will end with something like .com. After that just put analytics, something like this. In my case, it will look something like this. I will show you. That is over here. So there will be a host, you have to provide the host for your fusion and then just put append analytics, you will land into the same page. Now in order to create a BIT publisher report, we have to create first of all the data model. So in the data model, we have to write the SQL query. So we have to expand the shared folder, we have to expand the custom, just select this and we have to create one folder over here. So in the actual use case, your project lead or the project manager will be creating a folder for specific to the past development. So within that you have to build your reports and the data model. Let me give the name. I have copied the name over here. I will give the similar names. So it is over here. Just click on expand. You will get into this folder. So your folder will be at the end when you create for the first time. Next we have to click on this and click on the data models over here. When it is it's over here. Let me name my data model later. First we will run the SQL query that is this one customer accounts. I have copied the same. Click on plus, click on SQL query. As it is under FSCM, I will paste the query over here what I copied. Let me name this as test or something useful. You can provide it over here. I am giving test. Click on OK. So it is saying that in our query there is one bind parameter that is over here colon and then the name. So it is asking check mark this so that it will create the parameter automatically. You don't have to go manually over here under parameters and create. Click on OK. So if you see under parameters it has automatically created a parameter so that we can pass at runtime those details that is the account name that is to the account name over here. If the account name is passed then it will return only those account name information. So if you see this parameter it is mapped to this display. Suppose if you want to change the display name that is what displayed over here it's not saved I guess just let me just save first of all click on the save over here so we have to save under shared folders custom 
it's over here our folder and here we have to paste let me just give the name uh, that is what we have copied over here ending with dm so it is always a good practice to end the name with dm or data model click on ok then our data model got saved successfully now let us run this query so initially i won't view any name click on view so we'll be getting the customer id customer class code and the status if you want to see in the table view we will be getting the table so this is exactly similar to how you run any sql query with the help of sql developer wherein you will be defining in the data set the sql query that is the query will be over here and in order to run we have to click on data and click on view view means it will run the query and display the data in the table view or in the tree view so there are other options as well available over here apart from SQL query we had selected SQL query so as a past developer you will be only interested in SQL query wherein you will be extracting the data using the select statements so this is how you can create the data model so we are not yet done we have to create the report as well click on catalog and click on so that before going back to catalog what we will do is you can click on view over here go to the table and we have to first of all save the sample data so it will save the sample data what it is showing over here so once it is saved we have to click on catalog you will be going back to this page that is under this a underscore test 01 folder now we will be creating a report so let me just click on plus and select the report so our report name is this one let me just copy this from here in the create report dialog we have to search for our data model click on this magnifier icon from here we have to select our data model that is this one click on ok then there are two options as a beginner we have to select guide me suppose if you don't want them to guide just we can click on use report editor as well click on next here we have to select the table view click on next on the left hand side we will get the fields which are available in our data model i will drag and drop all the fields what we get from our data model when we run the sql query First, I will drop this customer account, next the customer class code and the status. Suppose if you are getting n number of fields from your data model or the query, we can drop what fields from the data model you want to consume. That is or show in the report. Once done, click on next. Leave this default and click on finish. So it will ask what is the name. I will do this name. Click on OK. And then. So it will automatically run your report and you will get the data so by default it is considering the pdf format so whenever you run your report you will be getting the data and pdf format suppose you will tell that i don't want to see in the pdf i want to see in the csv because in the integration when we are consuming this bip report it's easy to read the csv than the pdf so click on these actions tell edit report switch over to the view as list from here what you have to do is from the output formats just uncheck this and we have to just leave it to data csv suppose if you are having more than one format just select which is your default format i will keep csv as my default format now let me just view the report click on this so this time we should be getting the csv data now one more thing if you observe we are getting this p account name that is the input bind parameter in the csv file we don't want this to be visible in the report let me just go to the catalog again so this we can remove from our data model click on edit data model from here we have to click on these properties here we have to uncheck this include parameters and we have to check mark include empty tags for null element suppose if you are going for csv if you don't check mark this empty tags for null element suppose if any column data is null then you won't find that particular data in the csv as a empty just oracle will skip that and you will get an error saying data is not as per the schema so always make sure to include empty tags for null elements in your data model click on save now let me again run the report go back to the catalog open this report and here if you see this tab we won't see that parameter only the data we are seeing in this class we had seen a couple of things first is how we can navigate to the bip report that is to the catalog or the analytics in oracle fusion cloud 
we had created this data model and then we created the report then we saw how we can change the format of report from pdf to csv only and also we had seen how we can control the properties of the data model and also at the beginning we had seen in what scenario we have to go for the bi report and what scenario we have to go for the rest api 